Is all screen time bad for children? A question that haunts every parent in this digital age. Welcome to a journey through the digital landscape where we'll explore a common concern, screen time for children. It's often perceived as a villain, a thief of time and health. But what if it's not the time spent, but rather the content and context that matters? What if we're asking the wrong question? Yes, today we're diving into the idea that not all screen time is the same. But what if we told you all screen time is not created equal? A recent umbrella review of research on the effects of screen time on children suggests a different perspective. This extensive study takes a deep dive into the world of screen time, meticulously examining not one, not ten, but a whopping 102 separate meta-analyses. Now that's a lot of data. The umbrella review method is like a detective sifting through mountains of evidence to find the truth. This approach allows researchers to examine a broad range of studies and piece together a more comprehensive picture. And what's the picture they've painted about screen time? Well, it's not as black and white as we may have thought. The review found that the impact of screen time on children is not uniform. Instead, it varies widely, depending on the type of screen activity. Take social media, for instance. The review found small negative associations with this type of screen time, suggesting that too much scrolling and posting may not be beneficial for our young ones. However, it's not all doom and gloom in the world of screens. The review found mixed results for other types of screen activities. For example, video games, apps and television were associated with positive educational outcomes, indicating that these activities may indeed have a place in children's learning and development. So, it seems, not all screens have the same impact. It's a nuanced landscape, where the type of screen activity matters as much as the time spent in front of the screen. It's a timely reminder for us to look beyond the screen and consider the content that's being consumed. It, the study challenges the idea that all screen time is the same and suggests a focus on the content and context. Let's delve into this idea a bit more. You see, not all content consumed on screens is created equal. The intent of the content and the context in which it is consumed play a significant role in shaping the impact of screen time. It's like comparing apples and oranges. They're both fruits, but they're not the same. For instance, consider video games, apps and television. These are often the usual suspects when we talk about screen time, yet the study found that these were associated with positive educational outcomes. Imagine that! Your child playing a video game could actually be learning something valuable. This could be anything from problem-solving skills in a strategic game to understanding complex narratives in a story-driven game. Similarly, educational apps and television programs can serve as interactive learning tools. They can present complex topics in an engaging manner, making learning fun and enjoyable. But it's not just about the content. The context also matters. Is the screen time part of a balanced lifestyle that includes physical activity, social interaction and good sleep? Or is it replacing these essential activities? You see, it's not just about how long the screen is on, but also what's on the screen and how it's being used. Maybe it's time we rethink our approach. Perhaps we need to shift our focus from time-based screen time guidelines towards a focus on content? So parents, it's time to breathe a sigh of relief. Through our voyage of discovery today, we've unearthed some intriguing insights about screen time for children. It's clear that the landscape isn't as bleak as we might have previously thought. Not all screen time is the same, and the term screen time itself might not be the most useful when guiding our decisions. We've learned that the risks and benefits of screen time are generally small and significantly depend on the content and context. It's not just about the number of hours spent staring at a screen, but what's on that screen and the intent behind it. The research we've explored showed small negative associations with social media, while other screen activities like video games, apps and television can have positive educational outcomes. This suggests that we should shift our focus away from time-based screen time guidelines towards an emphasis on content quality. The intent of the content is paramount. As we've seen, certain activities can offer substantial educational benefits and can even foster a love for learning. So let's not be too quick to demonize the digital world. Instead, let's embrace it as a tool that, when used correctly, can be profoundly beneficial. Let's continue to weigh the risks and benefits of screen time, keeping in mind the importance of content and context, to continuously be enlightened, like and subscribe. Until next time, stay informed.